But one day, a couple came in and said, we want you to represent the marriage. And I explained to them, you know, as all lawyers would, you know, ethically, I really can't do that, and, yeah, and so on. And the guy was really persistent. He said, there's got to be a way to figure this out. He said, because we want you to help us think about the problems that we have in separating and divorcing and help us find answers that are going to work for us and be consistent with the law. And ultimately, what uh, we agreed to was that I would represent his wife nominally. I gave him a letter which said, I'm not representing you and you're welcome to participate in this conversation so that ethically I was okay. Um, I felt as though I would met my ethical responsibilities and I was a mediator. I sat with two people and helped them as they talked about how they were going to deal with their child, um, how they were going to divide up their assets, the decisions they were going to make about support. And so, you know, I think that I was sort of pulled into mediation by clients, as well as in before that my own sort of growing disposition toward away from a more adversarial look at problems and uh, and a more relational look at them.